Speed's coverage of the fifth annual NASCAR Toyota All-Star Showdown is brought to you by Toyota. Moving forward. Well, Doc, I don't know. How many more times are we going to do this? I, I don't know how many more times my heart can take this to tell you the truth, Darrell. Uh, They'll mean, complete 248 this time by. They'll take the green with two laps to go. We've got a lot of reason to cheer for everybody in the top eight or nine of these cars. That's right. Yeah, just, Too bad just one of them's going to win it. Can't make any mistakes right here. Uh, that's all Joey's got to do is get a clean restart, not spin the tires. And, uh, here we go. The jump on Peyton, and he did. He did. Peyton stays up top. Joey will slide up in front of him and uh, should drive off. Here comes Mike Duncan on the bottom once again. Here comes Peyton looking underneath him. Got him a little Tips loose. Him. He sure does. Got him a little loose. White, White flag. flag. Boy, I tell you what, Joey did a great job of hanging on to that thing because Peyton had him a little bit sideways. It's going to get tighter on this last lap, boys. It's a two-car race. It's all up to Peyton Sellers. Can he drop down and take the lead, or will Joey Logano get the biggest checkered flag of his career? Sellers gets loose. Logano wins it. Sellers second, Mike Duncan third, Matt Kobaluk last year's winner fourth, Eddie McDonald top five, I then like. Eichler, Holmes, Olson, John Salemi, and David Mayhew the top ten. I like the way that uh, Peyton Sellers ran that last lap. He gave uh, Joey a little bit of a love tap there to kind of let him know he wanted by, but uh, nonetheless he didn't spin him out and uh, let Joey go. And good job on everybody's part that last lap. It could have been a mess. Great finish. Sure was. A great race. I mean, all the way through. Here's the Gano trying to do the burnout in the middle of all <laughs> yeah, this traffic. I don't know if he knows it or not, but here's some cars coming. <laughs> He's got the front wheels locked up. Well, that's how you do a burnout. You yeah. Know? You lock up the it, front ones. It, it, these guys better be careful driving in front of him. <laughs> yeah, don't let the brake off. Yeah. You know, I know it. Burnouts are fun and burnouts are exciting, and, and that's kind of the, what people do these days. But I'm getting really kind of tired of it. I like old school. Give me the flag. Let yeah. me ride around Carry the racetrack. The the race Wave it to the fans. Yeah. That's, that's, the, fireworks that's, too, that's the way I do it. But look at that kid has done this year. Joey Logano yeah. won Rookie of the Year in the Bush East Series, won the championship in the Bush East Series, and now he wins the biggest short track race he can win. Boy, I tell you what, he, does he have anything to look? Well, yeah, he does have a lot to look forward to. He sure does. Just not in this series. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peyton Sellers has a lot to be proud of. He does. His that was finish. a great job and on so his. And so does Mike Duncan, who ran in the top five all night long, wound up finishing in the third spot. Kobaluk coming back from that flat tire. And except for the taillight panel on Sellers' car, all those cars finished the race intact. Yeah, it was amazing how close they got to each other, but they never hit. Ralph's a victory lane. Now Joey Logano is crawling out, and he's about to get doused with water. Celebrating with the crew. Let's get him over here right away, Joey. Joey, congratulations on a huge win. How tough was it on that final restart? Oh, we were running hard, that's for sure. And those restarts were tough, you know. Uh, had a real good car the whole night, you know. Uh, actually over-adjusted a little bit there at the end. Uh, it was a little bit free off the corners, but I tell you what, this team's unbelievable. You know, we, we were slow in practice, picked it up in qualifying, ran up front the whole race. Amazing. Joey, there's a tremendous amount of hype about you, and you keep delivering. You've just won the biggest short track race of the year. How do you do that? Got to wheel it. That's all it is to it, and it's awesome, and it's a great team behind me. You know, everyone at Gibbs uh, back at the shop is, you know, help us out so much to get us here, and it's pretty amazing. You win the Toyota All-Star Showdown, you are a wheel man. Jim. With Peyton Sellers and the Strutmaster Chevy, man, you gave it everything you could. If you were on the bottom, you talked to me before the race about making a pass on a restart on the bottom. Could you have done it had the roles been reversed? I tell you, it would be hard to say, but they put so much speed to drive down that last caution, the bottom wasn't going to work, and I knew that, and I give it all I had, you know. But, uh, hey, we wasn't that good all night. We made a lot of changes during the breaks, and HC really tuned this thing in. Uh, I tell you, I just got to thank a good Lord for an awesome year this year to come home third in points, to end up here finishing second. You know, Joey beat us tonight. He was better than us all night, and I don't mind getting beat by somebody like that. So uh, he's been a class act all year, and he's had a dominant team all year. So we're going we're gonna to work hard to come back 
I just got to thank strutmasters.com, Woodall Chevrolet of Danville. Uh, a lot of people back home watching, my, my grandparents, my mom, my dad. It uh, really means a lot to me, this team. You know, we got a long trip back home now, but it'll be worthwhile. And the volunteers from Danville will be smiling all the way home. Great job, guys. Back to Ralph. Mike Duncan, you had a tremendous drive tonight. You come home third, and you prove that the old guys still have it, or the older guys maybe. But you don't know what you're doing yet next year. Will this third place finish help you? Well, it can't hurt us. I mean, they obviously knew we were here. Uh, Logano just, just seemed like when he decided he wanted to go to the front, just like at Phoenix, just like at Iowa, it just seemed like he just went. But uh, can't take nothing away from him. He, he had a great car. Uh, I want to thank Lucas for all the years of support. And uh, we finished strong just like we began it. Appreciate it. Mike? Thanks, Ralph. A great night. The kids started up front. Two kids finished up front. What a great night of racing. And and, and it kept the respect of all the comp uh, competitors, too. They all seemed to really like the kid. He showed them a lot of spec on the track. It's a good deal. And this is the best of short track racing. Think about going to your local short track next year when it opens back up again. A great night, and congratulations to Joey Logano and the Joe Gibbs team. Joey Logano is the fifth champion of NASCAR's Toyota All-Star Showdown. Good night, everybody.